I'm the budget modeler and I've just got a packet from Models for Heroes. Malcolm has sent me this and he's asked me to build it. I haven't got a clue what it is, but he's promised me faithfully that it's not a paper model. <laughs> so, and stab myself in the chest. Whatever this is, this is my next build video. <laughs> oh, models for your stickers. Please make this for my display table and enjoy it and make it look good. Malcolm. I certainly will do, Malcolm. <laughs> I can see what it is. Another Space 1999 transporter! Very nice. And it is. He doesn't say what scale it is. Ooh. That's awesome. I will open it up in a minute. Thank you, Malcolm. Right, we've moved into the man cave to open up the box and do a bit of a show and tell. It's unusual for me. Well, the box art looks nice. It's the Eagle One Transporter as flown by Alan Carter, who was played by Nick Tate in Space 1999. So, what have we got in the box? Well, there's a the decal sheet. I'll have a look at that in a bit. Got destructions, a postcard, some other models from MPC and a little open up and close up sheet. Picture of the character. All the plastic, and an empty box now. On the side of the box we can see the decal callout sheet, that's an unusual place to have it. Then on the underside we have a bit of gump from the show and the history of the craft. Let's start with the destruction shall we? Section A is the module part that sits just in front of the engines. I'll be doing some scratch building on this, as I think the kit could have been so much more. And this is the first place I'm going to be doing that. Sections B, C and D deal with the engines. It also shows where the decals go. And then we get to section E which is the module that goes behind the cockpit. Section F is the cockpit attachment to the module and then section G is attaching the top brace to both modules. Section H is about attaching the landing gear and the thrusters. Then section I is the container that is slung under the craft. So. There we have the destructions. Simple, easy to follow. So, I know, let's make it harder. Do some scratch building. Yay! Me and my big gob. Here's a decal sheet. They look really nice. Ooh, they've got a decal for the cockpit. Hmm, shall I, shan't I use it? Only time will tell. Let me know in the comments below if I should scratch build the cockpit. These look pretty good apart from a considerable amount of carrier film around the decals, which I'm probably going to have to cut off. Now, let's look at the plastic, the bit you've all been waiting for. In this bag we've got the nose section, 
the modules, some of the engine parts and the base of the underslung container. As you can see there is some flashing but it seems to be mainly on the sprues. There is some on the parts but nothing to really get worried about. Here's another section I'm really thinking of doing some scratch building on. If you look at the original you can see all the little greeblies hiding behind there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Here's the rest of this section. The plastic will need a wash as I can still feel some release fluid on here. This bag has the underslung container and the top bracing in. Not a lot of flash and nicely finished. Next! This bag has the landing gear and thrusters in it. Same as before, nicely moulded and I'm really looking forward to tweaking this one slightly. All in all, a nice model. Could have had a bit more detail on it, but I'll change that. So, there you have it, the MPC Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter. I hope you like this video, and remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, get the message out there to as many modelers as possible, like the video, ring my bell, and remember, stay safe, keep on modeling.